I had some trouble installing Web Data Extractor and getting it to run in Server 2016, so I have brought it over to Windows 8, actually 8.1, and it seems to run just fine. The executable looks like this, or the installer rather, looks like this, WDE, but here is the launcher. So we're going to double click the Web Data Extractor and get it to launch. And what we're going to do is we're just going to search for whatever we can find. Uh, emails, phone numbers, faxes, URLs, whatever we can get out of certifiedhacker.com, which actually is something that EC Council set up uh, for people when they're practicing for their CEH certification. So we're going to click New. And just here in the starting URL, we're just going to simply type www.certifiedhacker.com. Just like that, certifiedhacker.com. We'll leave everything else uh, in default. Notice that it's going to um, save data here in Program Files, Web Extractor Data, certifiedhacker.com. We'll pay attention to that. We should be able to open it here. Um, it's going to try to find URLs. If we had a list of possible URLs, it's going to try to find that. It might look in search engines. Uh, anyway, we're just going to take it as default, and we're going to see if we can have it find URLs, meta tags, emails, phone numbers, faxes. Let's go for it and click OK. And just simply, once we've got that, we're now going to click Start over here. So we'll hit it. And so it's starting out, and it's going and grabbing whatever it can, downloading whatever it can, processing various URLs. And we can see this little graphic up here to show us that it's busy, and we can see some activity over here. We can see that some meta tags were found, some emails were found, phone numbers and faxes, different things, and various URLs were found. So what I'm going to do is, since this will take a couple minutes, I'm going to pause the recording, and when it's done, we're going to come back and take a look at what we were able to find. Okay, we can see it's done, and we have a pop-up saying that Web Data Extractor has finished, and you can check extracted data using the correspondent pages. We'll click OK. And we'll go ahead and dismiss this, and we'll just go through and see what we found. So let's click Meta Tags, and we can see that there are all sorts of tags with domains, which may or may not be interesting to us, with keywords and descriptions. We can scroll up and down here and see various things. If we go to emails, let's go to that, we can see that it was able to extract a bunch of email addresses. That's cool. And it shows where it found them. We can go to phones, and we can see a bunch of phone numbers that were discovered. So that's very nice. We can go to faxes, and we can see fax numbers were discovered. We can look at merged list, but there's nothing. URLs, loads of URLs that uh, were available here. Anything inactive? No. So this is really cool. It was able to just find a bunch of stuff for us just by putting in a particular website. And I encourage you to try it as well on different websites. Realize, obviously, that big ones might take quite a while and you might have to cancel. But that is using Web Data Extractor to do some OSINT in your footprinting and reconnaissance.